Uh, now to get us started with our portraits of Donald Duck, he's going to start with a basic shape, and the shape's going to be a circle here. And so right at the middle of our paper, we want to draw in a circle about the size of a baseball, or an orange is a good size here as well. And as you can see here, it's giving the circle very light, really rough, and sketchy. Just really building up my circle with lots and lots of curved lines. Now, once you've got your shape in place, uh, we want to hop to the top of our circle here, and we're going to lightly sketch down a vertical guideline to show us that Donald's going to be facing towards us. And about two-thirds of the way down toward the bottom of our circle, we want to lightly sketch across a horizontal guideline here, and this sign's going to help us place it in Donald's eyes. And this will give us our basic foundation for Donald Duck, and it looks nothing like it. Uh, right now we have color and lightsaber going through an orange. Not so much that duck that we know and love today. But with this foundation place to add in Donald's bill here, we're going to go from the side of our circle now, and right between that horizontal guideline, we want to add in this little C-shaped curve here along the side. You can also think of this as a little candy cane sitting on its side as well. Then we'll want to hop to the right side of our circle, we'll add in one more candy cane here on the right. Uh, to really start adding in the upper part of Donald's bill here, we're going to go right below our candy canes. And from the outside of our shape now, we're going to stretch across this very wide rainbow necks. And as I pull this rainbow across to the right hand side, I'm just making sure that this rainbow goes right through the bottom of that original circle. Now, once you've got this rainbow in place to close off the sides of this bill here, we're going to go from the bottom of our candy cane and we'll connect this to the end of that rainbow here on each side. And this should give us what will look like a Benton wire hanger or one of those weird shaped tools from Ikea that no one knows how to use. <laughs> and to show that his bill is actually coming out towards us in perspective, we want to go right above our first rainbow. And on the inside of our circle now, we're going to stretch across a shorter rainbow here on the inside. And this is giving Donald what we call his bill line next. Even though Donald can typically be an angry bird, we want to go ahead and give him a little smile here in our portraits. And so from the tops of those candy canes, we want to give Donald some smile lines here. And these are just a couple of rainbows here at the top uh, to show us that his cheeks are going to be pushed up as he smiles nice and big here. And once you've got those smile lines in place to give Donald his cheeks next, we're going to go from the side of our circle and right around that smile line now, we want to wrap around another little candy cane. You can also think of this as a little hook shape or a little coffee mug handle on the side as well. And as we uh, hook our little candy canes from right above those smile lines here, uh, you want to hook these candy canes uh, to the sides of this upper bill. <laughs> but Donald's always seen with what we call an open mouth or a laughing smile. And that smile is there to show you that he's super happy even if you see him from far away. And so to add in that same kind of smile here in our portraits, we're gonna go right to the ends of the cheeks, right where we ended those candy canes now. And we're gonna lightly sketch down a diagonal line here on each side. And I'm keeping these lines nice and light as I go right through his upper bill here. And once you've got those two diagonals in place to close off the bottom of his bill here, uh, we're gonna play another game of connect the dots. And so from right between those two points at the bottom, we'll connect them together now by stretching across a letter U from right between the two. As we go back in to darken in the outer part of Donald's bill, uh, you want to make sure that you keep the corners really nice and round. Uh, we don't want to give Donald any sharp points or angles. Uh, we save those sharp points and angles more for our villainous characters. And uh, Donald Duck's no villain. Uh, he just has that temper problem too. Uh, to add in the inside of Donald's mouth. We're gonna follow those same steps, uh, but this time we're gonna go from our smile lines here. And so we'll go ahead and stretch down those same diagonal lines here on each side. Because we really do want to give Donald this nice, big, happy smile, because Donald's got a lot to be happy about in life. Uh, this duck just turned 88 years old last year, but Donald doesn't look a day over 12. He's also got a lot of friends, a rich uncle, he's in a relationship, that must be nice. <laughs> this duck, definitely living his best life here. Now, 
even though I did just mention you save those shark points more for our villains, uh, there's actually one shark feature on Donald, both literally and figuratively, and that's going to be his tongue. And so to add in that tongue of his, we want to go right to the middle of his mouth now, and we want to sketch in this little triangle. You can also think of this as a little pizza slice here too. And if you're feeling a little fancy, if you want to add some contrast to your sketches, uh, we can even shade in the back of Donald's mouth just to make that tongue stand out a little bit more for him here too. But with his bill in place, the hardest part of our drawings are complete and you all are actually about halfway done with your sketches of Donald. And so with all the hard stuff out of the way though, uh, this is where we want to work on the most important feature of all for our duck, and that's gonna be his eyes. Now for Donald here, he has these really big expressive eyes to him. And so for these next shapes, his eyes are gonna be these two tall ovals. You can also think of these as eggs for eyes as well. And so I'm gonna go right to the inside of my circle now. And just above that horizontal guideline, I'm gonna lightly sketch in the eye on the left hand side, just lightly building up my first egg shape, and really just bringing this up to the top of that original circle. And I always like to keep that first eye nice and light to start with. Uh, just in case I make his other eye too big or too small, uh, I can always go back and readjust. And so I'll go ahead and lightly sketch in the eye on the right hand side here too. once you got his eyes to a pretty decent size here, uh, these egg shapes are going to be the next feature that we want to go back and darken in. Now, as, you, as a lot of you may know, Donald Duck is a family duck. He has an uncle to three nephews. Can anyone tell me the name of his nephews? Yes, you do and Louie. Now, does anyone know the name of their mom? Yes, Della Duck is some super fans out there. Yes, uh, their name, uh, mom's name is Della Duck, and she also happens to be Donald Duck's twin sister. <laughs> we never hear about Della nowadays, because she was actually mentioned in the comics that they produced back in the day, and in those comics, she's an astronaut. And so whenever she's off on her amazing adventures, she almost asks her brother Donald to take care of her sons. Now, once you've got his eyes nice and dark, Right now they look like they're floating in space, uh, when really they do sit in the pocket of his bill here. And so to finish up that bill for Donald, we're just gonna go right between his eyes now, and we'll bridge this together with a little hill from right between the teeth. But right now, Donald's looking like he's seen some things. <laughs> like he probably saw a ghost, maybe the ticket price is here. <laughs> and so this is really where you can get creative with your ducks. You can really have Donald looking any way you like. Uh, up, down, cross-eyed, uh, maybe added some hearts, stars, dollar signs in those eyes. Uh, but if you wanna keep them nice and classic, just right at the bottom of each eye here, I'm drawing in a couple of smaller ovals, one for each pupil. And since the eyes are really where we as the audience connect with our characters, I like to go back in, push down just a little bit harder on my pencil, and I'll bring all of that attention and focus is right inside his eyes here. But once you've got Donald nice and awake uh, to give him some eyebrows next, make him a little bit more expressive, we wanna go right above his eyes here. And I'll start with the eyebrow on the left-hand side. But from here, we're gonna pull up a really tall rainbow. You can also think of these as a couple of arches that sit above his eyes as well. And the higher you draw these above his eyes, uh, the more excited uh, Donald's gonna be looking in your drawings too. But with Donald being a duck, he definitely has some feathers to him as well. Now for Donald though, he has a group of feathers that bunches up on the tops of his cheeks. And so to give him some duck fluff here, uh, we're gonna go to the top of the cheek now. And we wanna pull up half of a rainbow, a little curve here on either side. And we're just gonna pull this to the side of our original circle. And once you've got that duck fluff in place, we can even close off the sides of his head by just picking up our favorite circle line right between his eyebrows and the top of his duck fluff here. Now, right between Donald's eyebrows, he does have three feathers at the top, just like he has those three nephews. And so to add in the feathers here, we're gonna go right between his eyebrows now. And 
I'm gonna draw some three little shark fins. So I'll have my first shark fin going straight up. Then we'll have a second shark fin curve towards his right eyebrow here. And we'll wanna follow that with one more shark fin coming down. Instant duck flow. Now we're almost finished with our sketches of Donald, but what's he missing here at the top of his head? Yeah, it's uh, his cute little sailor hat that he loves to wear. And so to add in that sailor hat, uh, we're gonna go right above his right eyebrow. And to add in this hat band, we're gonna pull up a little vertical line going straight up. And we wanna show that his hat is tilting to one side. So from the top of this line, we're gonna bring down a little hill that's gonna curve towards his left eyebrow. And for the fluffy the pillow that rests at the top, we're gonna start from the right side of this hat band. And I'm gonna build up the top of this pillow first by lightly stretching up this really stretched out letter C curve. I like to think of this curve as a sideways question mark, or you can also think of this as a Maui's official here as well. You're welcome. <laughs> now, uh, once you got the top of this pillow in place, to close off this pillow at the bottom, you wanna go from the bottom of the fish hook here, and we're gonna sketch in just a very small letter C curve, connecting this to the side of his head, right along that left eyebrow. Now, at one point during Donald Duck's career, though, he was actually a lot more popular than Mickey Mouse, and even started a lot more shorts than Mickey did, too. And this concerned Walt Disney. He didn't want Donald to be the mascot of his company. And so he had to figure out a way to really gain Mickey's popularity back. And he actually did this by giving Mickey pupils in the Sorcerer's Apprentice so that Mickey could be just as expressive as Donald. But Walt Disney has even said so himself that Mickey Mouse is who we all aspire to be, but Donald Duck is who we all really are. <laughs> and, uh, once you got that pillow in place, the last feature we need to add on to this sailor hat is that cute little ribbon that hangs towards the bottom. And so to add in that ribbon here, we want to pull down this curve number 11, and from right between those two, connect it together with a little rainbow with that ribbon in place. That's gonna be the last step that you need for your sketches of this duck here. And so this is the time in your drawings when you wanna go back in, uh, do some touch-up work, darken in any lines that might have faded away in the drawing process. And you'd love to stand out nice and dark. But the last mark any artist truly needs to leave on their work before it's complete though, are gonna be your signatures. So make sure you do find a spot somewhere next to your lawn. And go ahead and sign big and proud because you have to learn how to draw your very own portrait of Donald Fauntleroy 